Oh, hello. I'm just starting Camp Monty again. I've got uh, some game that I've still had in the um, freezer. So I've got my last uh, fully plucked pheasant and I thought I'd come down and cook it over the fire, mega slow in a sort of primitive way. Not very fancy, just two wise split sticks in the ground with a stick across and I'm gonna use some sticks to push through the meat to hold it in place so it can be rotated. Uh, I hope I can show you a culinary delight um, and I'll get cracking. So what I've done here is I've put little sticks um, through different points of the pheasant um, and that holds it better on the stick. Looks a bit primitive, um, a bit thrown together, but it's holding it in place so it can be turned. And I'm just going to let that slowly cook and we'll just leave that near to the fire. Maybe move the embers over a bit, that should cook it nicely. skin. Hmm. Literally falling off the bone. So there we go, a lunch fit for kings. Some pheasant, dandelion tea. Sit and enjoy this around the remnants of the fire. While the bones burn away. So as you've seen there, that was absolutely delicious. I really enjoyed that. It took a while for it to cook, but it was probably one of the best pheasants I've had out here. I think my problem before was it was having it too close to the fire. But having it that distance away and just doing it very slowly and having those sticks to hold it in place just worked a treat. Um, it was, the skin was really nice on it. The outside was nearly like jerky and the inside was just tender. Um, so it is a really good method um, and it's easy as well. You know, you might as well just keep it simple. There's no point in doing these big fancy methods of cooking when you can just do that. Um, straightforward, no messing about um, and you can just leave it while you do your work around the camp. But 
no spices on it, no salt, no oil, and it just turned out great. It just cooked in its own juices, um, and I really enjoyed it. Um, and I'll, I think I'll be doing that again. It'll be quite good for a rabbit, I think, because you can sort of jerky it a bit, um, and then eat, eat the inside and use the rest for jerky. But I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, stay safe out there and get out there and enjoy the great outdoors. I'll catch you in a bit.